hello everyone welcome back to my channel so friends i hope you are enjoying my videos enjoying my series of passing strategies especially who are studying under the vtu which is a technological university so today i am with the another subject that is applied physics for triple e stream so if you want to score in this particular subject or if you are a backlog student if you have backlog in this particular subject so it is the video for you people so stay connected with me till end so that i will discuss some important uh what we call questions over here and important strategies to pass this pass this particular subject its subject code is b p h y e 102 and 202 that is in first semester second subject and second semester second subject so if you are a uh, second sem student so it is also for you people if you have backlog in this particular subject if you are a regular stu uh, student it is also for you that is b p h y e 202 is the subject code accordingly right <clears throat> so Uh, without wasting a time let me tell you some important hacks so my dear friends in the module first which is a quantum mechanics it uh, consists of a vast syllabus over there so i hope and i know you cannot cover all the it is <clears throat> it is very difficult for an engineering student to cover all the syllabus uh, just because there are a lot of uh, internals over there a lot of internal examinations so students are having burden to cover all the syllabus so i have considered i have given some importance to the questions by which you can Uh, score in this particular subject or you can pass easily so first of all you have to focus on de broglie hypothesis or you can easily say de broglie hypothesis uh, so you have to focus on this concept and then which is the most important question that is heisenberg's uncertainty principle show that the non existence of electron inside the nucleus it is a concept over there heisenberg's uncertainty principle so write down the theory accordingly which is the very easier part over there it is easy to remember also right so principle of complementarity which is the new concept they have which you had added this time to the physics subject otherwise it was not uh, present in the 18th scheme physics over there so this time they have added this additional topic which is the most important one it will come in the examination then uh, set up schrodinger's time independent wave equation in one dimension it is the 11th class concept my dear friends if you just remind Uh, this uh, schrodinger wave equation it is very simple one little bit different differentiation is over there so you have to prove this uh, particular schrodinger time independent wave equation in one dimension not no need to uh, derive it for three dimension only one dimension right then uh, you have to show particle inside one dimensional infinite potential well so there is a derivation little bit derivation over there so you have to prove this Uh, some excitation levels are there some energy levels are there you have to draw accordingly the graphs over there so that you will clear this concept and last concept which is in the module first that is physical significance of wave function and max barnes interpretation so these uh, topics uh, i think four and two that is six concepts uh, which you have covered into in the module first so that you will easily get uh, 10 to 15 marks in this particular subject if you are convenient with the numericals so go through uh, numericals also so uh, let me tell you friends uh, it is <clears throat> only subject uh, in which uh, you can pass by theory also but sometimes with you is as you already know with you is unpredictable sometimes they are giving questions uh, uh, numericals more than the theory portion but uh, you can still pass this particular subject with theory only right there are some theory uh, derivation parts by which you can pass this so this was the first module so six topics you have to cover then module 3 which is also a passing module i can see it is lasers and optical fibers right so this is lasers and optical fibers you have to focus on this derivation that is express energy density in terms of einstein's coefficient a and b you have to express this energy density in terms of energy density which is uh, you know, de uh, what we call denoted by nu over there so you have to show in terms of einstein's coefficient stimulated emissions a spontaneous em emission is there so these three top uh, these three will be over there concepts like absorption stimulated emission spontaneous emission by which you can derive this particular equation then characteristics uh, characteristics of laser and interaction of radiation with the matter this is a little bit importance but uh, i have given some tick marks over here which are the most important ones you can easily see over here then construction and working principle of co2 laser it is the most important question definite question i can say this will come in the vtu examination that is construction and working principle of co2 just uh, draw the neat sketch over there and try to explain in your own own words whatever you understand from this concept that is co2 laser you have to write it in your own words or you can just uh, memorize whatever is written in the book some students are like that right then applications of lasers in defense 
which is also an important one uh, laser range finder in present era it is most important that uh, uh, laser application in the defense especially it is used in the tanks where uh, what we call armies can direct to the enemy's target over there they can find out the uh, what we call as point mark of the enemy over there so these are the applications laser range finder and laser printing and some numericals are there by which you can also refer if you are convenient very simple numericals are there you can just focus uh, if you have a textbook you can also refer so that it will be easy for you people to cover this module also also or in the next part it consists of two parts as i mentioned in the earlier video that it consists of uh, module consists of two chapters or sometimes three chapters and as it contains of uh, two chapters next one is the next chapter is optical fiber part if you are convenient in uh, in this part you can just go through according to the syllabus but first part is the easier one that is laser part right then <clears throat> module 2 comes up electrical properties of solids in which you have to cover most important questions like assumptions of quantum free electron theory it is also again an important question which is always asked in the vtu examination then define fermi factor and discuss variation of fermi factor with the temperature and energy and definitions of fermi energy and fermi level right then mention expression for electrical conductivity as this module consists of three parts over there my dear friends next part is the dielectric properties in which you have to cover what is the polar and non-polar dielectrics derived clausius mosetti equation and solid liquid and gaseous dielectrics were there and applications of dielectrics in transformers capacitors and electrical insulation so these are the two chapters and next chapter is superconductivity in which you have to cover Meissner's effect and the variation of critical field with temperature which is most important question types of superconductors and bcs theory of superconductivity and squid and maglev that is maglev and numericals also if you are convenient so this is the vast module over there three chapters it consists of two. so there will, uh, will be intermixing of the questions uh, no questions from the uh, suppose if i will tell you in the first part there will be questions from these two parts but we do is mixing the questions from whole three uh, what we call as chapters over there so you have to focus on these much concepts so that uh, there will be no difficulty for you people in the vtu examination right sometimes uh, vtu is giving only one chapter if there are two chapters in the module so from first chapter they will give first part and they will give a uh, second part accordingly separately right but in this case uh, module 2 they will give intermixing of questions over there so this is the module 2 then module 4 comes up in the module 4 maxwell's equations or and em waves it is little bit tougher a topic over the, uh, there as compared to rest of the modules so if you are good in the vector part divergence curl part over there so it will be easy for you people but i have taken here the important ones that is gauss divergence theorem and stokes theorem these are the two important questions and faraday's law of uh, electromagnetic induction current density definition and equation of continuity maxwell's equation in vacuum and uh, an another chapter is em waves so whatever mentioned in syllabus you can go through and whatever is given in the module question paper you just refer module question paper for this module 4 my dear friends if you find some difficulties otherwise go through these topics by which you can easily get 10 to 12 marks right then module 5th which is easier part that is semiconductors and devices but it consists of vast syllabus and i have taken some six to seven questions from this particular module over here so that you will uh, you will get 10 to 15 marks in this particular module over here expressions for hall effect and it is applications and construction which is most important question first of all in the 18 scheme it was given in the uh, this lasers part but this time they have separated it and uh, put it into the semiconductors and devices part over here construction and working of semiconducting laser so it will definitely this question will be there photo transistors and relationship between fermi energy and energy gap in intrinsic semiconductors right then fermi level in intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor and next one is electrical conductivity of semiconductor derivation is there so you have to focus on this part so only six questions from the module fifth i have taken i have given some importance so you can refer this much only by which you can score if you want to score 80 to 90 then you have to go for numericals also my dear friends so remember this point otherwise sometimes uh, some uh, people are commenting that it is not coming in the examination so i am telling you that you have to focus on numericals if you want to score in this particular subject if you are a backlog stu student so focus on the this much content this theory content you will easily pass this particular subject so thanks for watching my video